Hey everybody, it's Zach. Welcome back to another PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over the require and include functions within PHP. So let's get started. Okay, so the require and include functions are essentially requiring or including another page uh, to be inserted into the page you're currently working on. So this would uh, require two different files, uh, two or more uh, files. So we've got our tut.php up, so we'll go ahead and open and close our PHP tags here. And uh, we will create a new file, and we will name this inc.php. And we will do the same here. We'll open and close our PHP tags. And in the inc file, we're gonna create two variables. We're gonna create one called name, so dollar sign name equals you can use single or double quotes doesn't really matter zach and age is i am 28 and remember in php 7 wow php 7 voice cracked uh you don't need the brackets around a number so uh okay so that will do it for this file here so we'll go ahead and save that and jump back into our tut.php file okay so let's start with include so when you include a file, uh, it looks like this. Include, and then single. Uh, I think you can use double as well. I'm just in the habit of using uh, single. Um, and then our page name, so it's inc.php. So now what we can do is we can echo, hello, comma, my name is, leave the space there, concatenate, name, concatenate again, space, I am space age concatenate space years old and we'll do a line break here because uh, I want to show you something in a minute uh, and then what we'll do is we'll echo another line oops okay so now if we refresh our page we get the, hello, my name is Zach, I am 28 years old, another line. So now if we were to comment, uh, you know, I'm not gonna do that. If you were to comment this out, you would get an error that it couldn't find the variable. Um, so now the difference between include and require is the way it handles errors. So include, let's say that this, I, I will actually show you. Um, if we change the file to something that doesn't exist, we're still gonna get another line down here. It's still gonna show up. Whereas if we change this back to inc.php and we change this to require and the file doesn't exist, it's gonna kill the page after the failed require. So that is essentially the difference between include and require. So this could come in really handy uh, for, let me show you, uh, let's create a banner so uh, we'll just leave that there and we will create uh, an HTML element here and in the body we'll create uh, a we'll get for two of those so uh, container Move this to the bottom here. Okay, cool. And we will name this uh, header. Okay, so in header, we want it to be h1 and welcome. Ah, welcome to the site. We'll end the h1 and the div and uh, and the uh, and the header div here and the container div here. So now if we save this and we require this, we are going to see, welcome to the site. That's big because I've got it zoomed in. Uh, so uh, we could do, um, let's see. So we could do a style tag with header height. Uh, let's go 200 pixels, width 100%, top 0, 
background color is, let's go for a gray. And color, white. So this is CSS, and that will come in a uh, future series. So don't don't stress yourself out. Of, oh yeah, one more. Uh, don't stress yourself out over this too much. Text align center. So now if we save this and refresh it, it of course did not work. Why didn't it work? Uh, position fixed. Yeah, okay, that's right. Which one? Okay. Style, that should have worked. There we go. I messed up. <clears throat> uh, so there we go. Uh, so now rather than including that, the 200 pixels is too big. I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be nitpicking here. Um, so rather than coding that into each individual page, um, you could just include it. So if something were to change, um, so welcome to the new site, well, it changes. So uh, that's a good example there. So, uh, okay, so that has been include and require uh, within PHP. Remember, include will continue running if there is a problem. Require will kill the page. So if that helped, if you learned something new, hit that like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.